Hi. Happy Monday. Monday night. <laughs> I don't know why I always want to say Monday night raw. I'm, is that even still a thing? Not that I ever watched it. Oh my God, there's a fly. <laughs> Fucking fly. This Monday has been like that. I just told my friend that if this Monday was like a thing, so we'd be all in the, the house doing like normal people things. And like Frank and Furter would come in and corset and heels and fishnets. That's where this Monday it's like, hi, but I didn't realize. It's like I wasn't prepared. Like, so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that tonight and share the thoughts I was having with you. Um, Monday in general is a day that I like to just focus on the mindset and get my mind sort of like focus on the things that are important to me for the week, whether it's work things or mom things or specific to me, like when I get to be a whole entire individual things, <laughs> you know, like socially, is that the word they say? <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm going to do better. But, um, so on Monday, after usually after having spent Sunday in the relaxed space, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm not relaxing enough on Sunday because the past two Mondays have been kind of kerfuckly. Like, who who are you? Mondays are like usually a favorite of my days. But anyway, I, I thought maybe I would come offer some ideas about how to prepare for a good day, even if it's not typically a good day. Like typically if Monday sucks for you, maybe it's normal for Monday to like kind of feel the way that it feels. But it doesn't always have to be that way. It doesn't have to stay that way. So you could change it. You could change it. Just simple as that. You can change it. And um, with this specific practice and idea, you start the night before. So before you go to bed and Journaling and all that is great, but this is like the moments before you're letting yourself start to calm it all down. And I get it, like a lot of times when you lay down, it's like, okay, I'm going to lay down and now it's all the things, right? We can't really do anything about that. But you can try to like wait until you're at that space of like really tired. Like when you're feeling like the eyes do the droopy and you finally think maybe you should sit the phone down so you don't drop it on your face again. Like when you're getting there tired, just take a moment or, or if you're able to be relaxed and sort of turning the mind off, if you're able to zone out on something else, I don't recommend it to be TV, but you're a grown up, I assume. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> you know what they say. So, but right before those minutes, so like before sleep time, and obviously it's not like you have the thoughts and then go to bed or everything cancels out because as long as we're awake, our mind wants to think. That's its job. So, you know, there's always space for things to have, hey, space for things to have space, you know? And because we are cycle and momentum beings, nothing usually just sticks the first try, which is why practice makes pretty dang good usually, you know? So, so you could say tonight, like, I intend for tomorrow to be a really happy day. I intend tomorrow to be very fun and easy. I intend for tomorrow to be Tuesday as fuck in Nancy Land per normal, please. Okay, I don't need to be so dramatic, but... Yeah, anyway, so you could just sort of say whatever it is that your intentions are for the day. And you don't, when we're saving intent again, when we're, when we're setting intentions for the day, it's not, I'm going to make this much money. I'm going to have this many high fives. It's not like that. It's the feelings that you want to feel. I want to feel happy. I want to feel relaxed. I want to feel playful. I want to feel smart. I want to feel useful. Like these are all good words that you can think in your mind. And when you're intending for whether it's a whole day or just a segment, that's what's going to serve you more than I want Rod to be nice. I want this girl to go, you know, thinking all like that, trying to get specific and pe people take the word creator and I've been one of them like to the like crooked layer. It's like you create yourself 
And then you walk into it because energy comes. Mm, we come after the energy, if that makes sense. Our energy gets there before we do. Yeah, that's true. Almost all the time. Because it's already been there. Weird, right? So, we, you know, I've talked about this before when we're talking about how to, like, start healing segments in the day. When, like, when we know we're about to walk into a situation where we don't enjoy the interaction with the persons or we just feel, like, heavy because we don't want to be there. Whatever the situation is, that expectation, that's a powerful expectation. The same way that however you feel about Tuesday, you may already have a very powerful feeling about a Tuesday. Some, usually people have the Mondays, you know, like, oh, Mondays. But people probably still feel that way about Tuesdays. Tuesday has always been, like, my second favorite day of the week. I guess this week it'll be my first favorite day of the week because today was not my favorite. I'm not claiming this to be my favorite. <laughs> I was just thinking in my head, shut up. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. Just kidding, just kidding. Don't make me, don't, don't make me eat my words, universe. I promise. I love this day. Just go fuck itself. Absolutely. Energy present itself. Yeah, yeah. First, sure. I mean, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Such a fuzzy line. It's not a fuzzy line. It's a blurry line when it's hard to read who all's trying to read. You know? But... It's true. What we think about sort of gets to the party before we do. And what we think about is connected to our stream of consciousness and all of the people in the space. So just setting your day the night before. So like tonight, back back to where I was going before I got off on that crazy train. Like the, tonight, you could just simply say, you know, I'm going to rest. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to let my body feel replenished. I'm going to wake up feeling rejuvenated. And tomorrow I'm going to have a really good day. It's going to be easy. I'm going to have really good timing. The people at work and I are going to get along. There's not going to be any of the like fuckery from the leftover weekend. People not having their stuff. Everything is going to be good. Everything is going to just be easy. Tuesday-ish, you know? And sort of just let that be it. And then the, the master piece of this, if you can manage, which is why sometimes people like to make notes, um is the very first thing in the morning when you first wake up. It's to go back to that thought. Go back. To, and again, if you like do these intentions and then you sit up for a little while and play on your phone and think about 30 other things, that's fine. You 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 remember. It's not like, it's like, well, she forgot. She didn't really want that. Cancel that order. You know, obviously if you stay up till 5 a.m. and have to wake up at 7, you may not feel that rested, but you probably knew that before you didn't lay down hours and hours and hours ago to do this practice so if you're waking up and you feel like okay I'm first awake whether we know it or not that's the closest to a blank slate that we can experience other than like splat birth right like every morning when we're first waking up and I get it sometimes coming out of powerful or vivid dreams it's like whoa like, it's like crash landing, you know, like back on earth, like, wow, what the you know, but unless you're waking up like that or waking up in anxiety, which also sucks, unless you're waking up in that already propelled momentum where it's like, hm! like, you're, that's not a normal way to wake up. If you're waking up like that every day, dear God, call somebody because that shit is not okay. <laughs> but... So, it, hi, hey Blair. Um, so, if you're just waking up and you're like, okay, I'm here, or however you wake up, there's this little, little, little nugget of time where then you could pick back up from your intention from the night before. I am rested, even if you don't know. I'm rested, I'm ready to go. This is going to be a really good day. I'm going to have really good timing. I'm going to have, I'm going to find the most cooperative people at work. I'm going to have the best clients. I'm going to have the best customers. All the things. Just remind yourself right away, the first thing in the morning, just give yourself like a couple of moments to a minute or two where you're just like thinking, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to feel good in my body. I'm going to eat good food. I'm going to enjoy the music that's on the radio. I'm going to enjoy the temperature. I'm going to wear my favorite shirt. 
I'm going to do this. Just la, 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 la. Kind of let it go on for a moment before you just get up into the day. And then just get up into the day. Um, but that little nugget, that night before setting the intention, like saying it to yourself. If it helps, put a hand on the heart or a hand on the belly and be like, self, listen to me. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. You know, come here. Snuggle me a minute. I want to talk to you, so. <laughs> Look, I don't have a better day tomorrow. I don't know what you did, where this Monday came from. It was not in our order. But I'm not upset. I just want to have a really lovely Tuesday with you. And just, you know, talk to yourself. And in the morning, that's that's like the trickiest, catchy part. It's like remembering before you start thinking, before you grab the phone. So some people write, I'm, I write on my hand, but some people wear like a rubber band and write on the band, like just a, a reminder to, to remember to like trigger that train. Some people put the little note next to their table. Oh, I'm awake. I am happy. I am going to have this day. I'm going to have, you know, whatever it is to sort of cue the um, affirmations that they want to practice. <clears throat> While I understand reprogramming, I'd never recommend affirming things that are complete bullshit and untrue. It's not good for you. It just takes too long. It takes too long. And it I feel like it holds you apart from where you're trying to go faster than if you just squashed and skipped that part. Because it don't make no sense. Like waking up and just, it's Tuesday and I'm rich. Well... Quick and fast and in a hurry, your whole body's gonna be like, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, 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 you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, not. And just pull the truth, the truth, which is your manifested now reality, which is what we feel like our truth is. It's not our whole truth, but it is the truth that our body recognizes as truth, you know? That makes sense, right? There's lots of layers of truth because there are. Everybody has their own perspective. Everybody has their own version of truth. But our most truest truth in this space from our human experience is what we know to believe in our body. So, for example, like some people know um, if their hand itches, they're going to find money. That is a truth in their body. Some people know that if they get a headache and drink some water, it'll go away. That's a truth in their body. You know, um... Some people believe that we have gravity on Earth. That's the truth in all of our body. You know, there are different layers of truth, but they're the ones that are, like, specific to now. Like, I believe I was a whale in a past life. That is the truth. But it's also one of those vague truths that I know and believe, but I don't feel like it's the same sort of a truth that I know from learning it and physically doing it in this body. Even sometimes when I say it, I'm waiting for everybody to be like, what? But I know, like, I believe it's true. So, of course, I don't need an outside validation. But because it's just not a normal-ish thing for people to declare, it's a weird fucking truth that I just don't practice saying is true. But there are certain truths that are true. Like, so so don't try and affirm or, or practice a mantra that is completely ballistic to your real experience. You want to imagine using the words to... To, to lure you, to pull you, or pull you, right? Yeah, pull you, pull you. Yeah, you're using your intellectual, the, the um, masculine energy part of your body, the intellectual part of you, to pull your energy. It's literally from your throat or mouth or mind, which is up, so you are pulling. But <clears throat> one step at a dang time, y'all. Don't try and go like, I can't baby be GNA. I am rich because all the things in you are just going to be like, Shh, cancel that. <clears throat> You're definitely not probably, dude. I agree that I probably was also that. <laughs> I, I wonder how many lives I had as a human, though. That's always my weird thing because I don't feel like I have as many memories as some of my friends. But I can do some animal things. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely don't think I was always a girl or was, because, you know, even when I wasn't sure what Rose was, I was like, so are we a boy? Are we a girl? Anywhere? Nowhere? No? Okay. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's kind of how that went. I seriously was like, so I'm a girl? <laughs> I called Amy. AMI. I was like, I'm a girl, dude. 
this rock just told me so. That's a really crazy story, but it's true. Um, yeah. So that's my offering. That's my idea. If today was not your most favorite Monday, and if it was and you just want to keep the party going, you could just say, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to rest. I'm going to feel rejuvenated. I'm going to be ready to go and have this best Tuesday. And I'm going to have great timing. All the things that I do are going to come out with ease. I'm going to be like high-fiving myself all day because it's just going to be a beast of a day. And I'm here for it. I'm ready. You know, like that. Yeah. And then get it in the morning. Remind yourself in the morning. Say the things. Just for like almost a minute. If you could do it for a minute, that's so cool. But that first hunk of chunks of moments before you get out of the bed. Thank you, bed. You're the best bed in the whole world. I love you, pillow. I love you, blanket. I love you, pillow. I love you, blanket. I love you, body. I love you, feet. I love you, ankles. I love you, legs, knees, hips, thighs, booty, belly, other belly, my back. All the things. <clears throat> just say hi to all the parts. Take a moment and just thank you, love you, thank you, love you, thank you, love you, thank you. This is going to be the best Tuesday I've had in, in a Tuesday of Tuesdays. It's going to be the best Tuesday. And just see what happens. Because I know it happened. Magic will happen. Tell me about it because I want to hear. So, yeah. I got a hair on me and it's freaking me out because I can't see it and I'm feeling it. It's like the cobweb hair. But unless somebody just like spun cobwebs all around me, it's not a cobweb. Speed of cobwebs, so though. I probably should address this cobweb situation behind my couch bed. <laughs> couch bed. Oi, another time. Let's uh let's let's go check on the children. Yay, it's almost bedtime. Yay! Bye guys.